Hi, it's Giselle here from Kids Yoga Stories and today I want to talk to you about why we teach and practice yoga with children. So when we ask our community this question, the words we hear are always about being calm or joyful or quiet in those moments of stillness. And if we compare it to something like surfers, you know, surfers will go out a hundred times to hit that wave or baseball players will play every single game hoping they'll get the home run. And it's all about that feeling of being in the zone, the sense of bliss with your children and that moment when nothing else matters. And so I asked our community about what their magic yoga moment was and I'd love to share those ideas with you today. So Jesslyn says, my favorite yoga, magic yoga moment was when the entire class of preschoolers were laying down in Shavasana and there was actually a moment of complete silence and quiet breath. And Jenny says, my magic moment was yesterday when my nine-year-old son, who was having a rough day of coping with anxiety issues, came downstairs to tell me that he just finished making his bed, he wrote in his gratitude journal and completed his own three-pose vinyasa yoga routine, all on his own volition. Then he thanked her for teaching him good habits that help him reach his own potential. Patricia said, my son plays football and just before he did a penalty kick, he stopped, closed his eyes, took a deep belly breath, and then he scored the willing, winning goal. And at the end of the match, he said namaste to everyone. She said it was magical. And Michelle said, I recently had a magic mo yoga moment with my daughter when she asked me to send loving kindness blessings with her at bedtime. And Bethany, who said, I've been working with my son who's high functioning autism for two years to work on his breathing during the meltdown. I can relate, by the way. He finally did it last week. They use a pinwheel for visualization and he loved it. Or Emma said, when a dad asked if I'd teach his kids yoga every day because they're so much happier and well behaved after class. So my question to you today is what is your magic yoga moment? Please share with us your story below so we can gather together as a community and share the gift of yoga.